hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how you can host a node.js application on heroku there are two ways that you can host in heroku using a cli or using this web interface as you can see so first of all what you have to do is you have to create a heroku account and i think you have your node.js application ready and in this tutorial i am using my own uh, node.js repository and i will add the link in this description as well so you you guys can reuse it and if you have your own node.js project make sure you commit it and publish in github because we are going to uh, link github repository to the to heroku uh, so that uh, we can do kind of a ci cd kind of uh, hosting where if we do new changes automatically automatically it updated this heroku uh, deployment so let's get started if you need more uh, if you like to learn more these kind of full stack videos front end back end and uh, hosting stuff make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel uh, every week i am going to add new videos regarding full stack development so here i have my heroku account you also you guys also can create a one if you don't have and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new uh, application create new app and i'm going to give it a name this name should be a unique one uh, i'm going to give node app okay it's available and you can select either Europe or United States so it doesn't matter in here I'm not going to add any pipelines I'm just going to create application Heroku is a very famous uh, famous in deployment so because it's uh, almost free for testing purposes so most of the full stack developers can do their paid projects on Heroku so here I have created the application and simply what I'm going to do is since I have deployed my project to GitHub, I'm going to link my GitHub repository to my to this uh, newly created application. I'm going to click GitHub, connect to GitHub and This is the repository that I'm going to host. It's called Advanced Auth Backend. I'm going to search it and this is it. I'm going to connect it. You can see it's been connected and I'm going to enable automatic deploys as well and next i'm going to deploy the branch so i'm going to deploy the master branch here so this automatic deploy means like whenever you push this to master whenever you push it push new changes to master automatically this deployment goes on so we don't have to do this thing this kind of hosting again and again so that's what's called this automatic deploys you can have a look at the log here so it's been successful even though it's successful this won't work properly since we haven't if you go through my application here uh, you can see I have used a lot of uh, env files process.env so environment variables so that this is how you normally store this uh, connection URLs and stuff in production level we add this as environment at the mass environment variables so here also I have used them uh, environment variables uh, I think even the port I used uh, uh, environment variables to configure ports okay so here you can see process.tnv port so what we are going to do now is I'm going to add those uh, environment variables for this created application can be done in settings I guess let's see yeah 
reveal config was and I'm going to add the uh, environment variables that I have used in my project so in my project I have three environment variables that's JWT secret key I will show you how you can add add the key here and the value here and the atlas URI that's my next uh, environment variable go into that one as add that one as well Here then I have the port I'm going to add that one here okay that's it after that what you have to do is you have to uh, it's better if you can uh, restart all dinos you have to click restart all dinos so it will all again restart this entire application so you can have have a look at the logs in here where step by step it gives what happens inside the node.js application here you can see the database is connected and we can open the app here and test it using uh, postman I'm going to use postman to test the endpoint let me open the postman this is not working like since this is uh, uh, API API it will not show anything in the front end of course so here I'm going to check the login uh, login endpoint of my API uh, I'm going to copy this endpoint so this is the API, API uh, domain where the API is hosted in Heroku so I'm going to add it, it in here and try this with the with these credentials so these are the credentials that I have used earlier and in the database so you can see this has successfully logged in and uh, I think uh, we can have a look at the logs as well here we can see this API login have uh, hit properly and it have successful with the 200 status 200 I sent again the same request with the with this login and you can see the API get hit and this is generated token so these things are coded in the backend I will share the repository with you guys so this is how you can successfully host a Node.js API on Heroku very simple very simple steps and the main thing is to add these environment variables properly and make sure before you add it to Heroku run it locally and make sure the app is running and if there's there are any questions please do comment uh, I can help you to figure out if there's any problem in the hosting and that's it guys if you like these kind of videos uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and in future also I will uh, share these kind of uh, tutorials production level tutorials uh, in week, weekly basis so see you guys in the next video thank you